Hello everybody. Just left Borough Bridge. Well, we're just about still here. Getting LPG at the Morrisons here before we move on. Spent two nights here. It's an official overnight park up. So if you want to know what it's like, it was on the last video. But we had a nice day there yesterday. Spent the whole day there and had a really nice day. So we're moving on, hopefully, not to overnight because you're not allowed, but we're hopefully going to Narsborough. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, so we've got up and left early so we can try and get parked up before it gets busy. But we'll see how that turns out. And there's Mr B doing the LPG and we need fuel as well. £10.85. Wow. That's all we've used in gas in nearly two weeks. Not bad going at all. Bloody fuel's raw. Expensive though at the minute. But anyway, we'll see you in a bit. This is our parking spot for the day. As you can see, only one van in here. Let's go, go and pay for my ticket. Oh, chiming. Must be nine o'clock. And we are in Narsborough on Conningham Hall Car Park. I think that's what it's called. We parked on the grass in. It's like an overflow car park. Pay and display. How much was it? Four pound twenty-four hours. Four pound for twenty-four hours. No sign saying no overnight parking at all. I don't know if you can see, but that's the river right outside the door. A bit overgrown, but it is there. That's really quiet at the minute. Just birdies tweeting. Well, apparently, Carl reckons that there's nothing saying that you can't overnight. So... We might see how we get on and stay here the night. But we'll see, won't we, Ugs? We will. See what we think. Oh, look, there's another motor train here already. Oh, yeah. So we are off for a riverside walk, or well, that is the plan, to go and find the viaduct. The viaduct is there. You can see it's on this screen, it looks tiny. And there's a nice old stone bridge behind as well. We're taking a walk up the steps that lead to the castle. Don't think we'll be going in the castle, are we? I, I think we need to join English Heritage because there's just too many places, especially in this area, like Fountains Abbey and the castle at Helmsley. God, I'm knackered already. Chuffy now. <sighs> Lovely view of the viaduct there. Got a knackered man. Don't know if it's picking my heartbeat or bloody hell. And we've got more to go. Even better. Oh, we at the top yet? Take that was a no. no I do love the viaduct. 
Just need a nice steam train going over the top and then that would be perfect. More steps. Is this the top now? No. No! Man! Chuffer coming. Oh, boring! Crap train. Crap train should be banned from driving on viaducts like that. Yeah, we need the Flying Scotsman or something, don't we? Yeah. Knackered. We'll be at the top now. Up, yeah. Hey, hey. Dog's on a lead. Oh, yay. And apparently, Narsborough is in the Nid Gorge. And very nice it is too. so far quiet yeah nice and quiet because it's early yeah. apart from Nucky having his asthma breathing yeah smaller than I thought no, any no. well maybe it's because we ain't walked very far really oh all right Nook man asthma dog so the castle's behind those trees Mr B's found something to film so what was you reading? Tunnels under the ground. Secret tunnels turned from the castle. Okay. 14th, 13th century. Okay. Hopefully you heard that. That's it down there. Well, we're walking back towards the river now, ain't we? We are. Gonna see if we can find somewhere to stop and get a drink. And then we'll see what else we can explore. Hopefully something. So we've turned off and we're coming down more steps for the castle. Taking us back to the river, we hope. Too many people up there, even though there's only about five, but they were annoying. Weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Can I see where we end up? So we found a garden, Beebra Gardens, public gardens with a paddling pool and the route to the riverside. Nice here, any hogs? Yep. Why is it, yeah, exactly, I was going to say, why is it nice? Because no one here. Yeah. Apart from us. Nobody here apart from us. We think we're going the right way to the river, but we're not sure. We'll find out. It's yeah, yeah, it's going downhill, it's got to be right.
and Carl is over there because he just found an absolutely beautiful bench. Which I presume, what? For a girl. For a girl. Yeah. Who passed away, I presume. Eight years and eight months old. Oh, oh, that's rather depressing. Thanks for that. Yeah, it was really nice. Beautiful bench there. And this leads to the river from the gardens now. Does it? Okay, cool. And it's starting to get busy by the look of it. But we shall see. Hoping to get a nice drink somewhere if everywhere's not rammed already. We're sitting outside the Riverside Cafe. Gonna have hot chocolate. And there's our hotty chocolate making a bit of a mess but you've got a little wooden spoon and I like that that's good we've had our hotty chockies ain't we Uggs? Yeah. and we are going for another explore away from the busy part hopefully glad we got here early it's starting to get busy now ain't it Right, let's make our way up to our destination and then I will tell you where we are. So this is Mega Echo Bay. Our Lady of the Crag. It does say there but you can't read it. A wayside chapel founded in 1408 by John the Mason. Look at that for a carving in your garden. Foxy Loxy, beautiful. Anyway, we're on the way to a cave apparently. Walking down Abbey Road. And this house is called Abbey House. Apparently a lady told us there's never been an Abbey here. It was a priory. So we are at St Robert's Cave. Not that we know anything about it. Might have to get the old phone out. Oh, cool. Um, is this where you go in there? Okay. Go on there. Yeah. No. I'm scared. You're scared. Very dark cave. Can't see shite. Can't see nothing. Hello. Right. I will record now. Apparently, this is a pilgrimage site. Got its teeny weeny man. Just about to see a little bit in there. And it says it was home to the well known Saint Robert from 1180 to 1280. It's teeny weeny, from what I can see anyway. And that's the teeny weeny doorway built into the rock. And that looks like it was done for people to sit on. There's the doorway again. Round steps there. That looks like an altar 
carved into the rock. And the Nook and Mr. B are over there for the river. River's behind them. Looks really green though, doesn't it? Green Lovely. And muddy. I didn't mean the river, I meant the trees. That's what I said, green and muddy. Yeah. Dumbo. And apparently, that's what it looked like before. Yeah, you can see the bench. Oh no, so all of that, hang on, I'll show you, yeah. Because you can see the cave bit there on the right. So apparently that curved bit there, like a curved triangle, was the domestic area. And then in front there was the chapel. And then where that funny cutout shape bit is there, was to the altar. And there it is, St Robert. A bit more interesting down there than I thought it would be. Ain't it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was boring. <laughs> and the workman thing is for now. We are back now where we had the hot chocolates. And as you can see, it's a lot busier than it was. So Carl's scoffing his ice cream. I've had my pot of ice cream. And so has Nookie. And so has Nookie, yeah. Was he nice, puppy? Nook, Nook. Was he nice? Yeah. And this is how it looks now. Bloody rammed. Which is why we got here at half eight in the morning. And we're walking back to the motor home now. Get a bit of peace and quiet, hide away in there for a bit. Then we'll come back out later, won't we? Yep, when the masses are gone. Yep, when the masses are gone, he said. We're off on another walk and we are parked there. That's where you come in on the car park. The car park's nearly empty now. This is all the overflow bit where we parked up. And we're leaving in a bit to go into West Yorkshire. But we'll just quickly show you around here before we leave. Dog walkers, there's people in the river as well if it's a bit noisy. And it's called Conningham Hall Car Park because this is the remains of Conningham Hall, which there ain't a fat lot. But apparently it used to look like that. Shame really. And this is a walk at the back of the hall. I can hear water. 
sounds like a weir, but it could just be the river, even though the river's on the other side as well. What? He said a wooden bridge. Sign there says Horseshoe Field, Riverside Circular and Foolish Wood. So we're just going to walk across the wooden bridge and see where we end up. And there's Carl and Nucky Monster at the other end. sun's come out and the sky's gone blue. Typical, ain't it? Is that more water? Is that a yeah? With his simpleton face, I don't know what that meant. And more water. Water so many rivers. Must have lots of branches. Oh, Carl, that's like a waterfall there, though. Oh, I'm going to have to try and get down and break my neck. Hang on. So I climbed down with Carl's help. And this is where we ended up. Lovely, ain't it? Bit dodgy to get down though, I'll show you in a minute. Well, it is when you've got dodgy knees, of course. Lovely. Then you've got to climb down somewhere there. Oh, is that a bloody baby boy? God, so annoying. Nookie Monst! Nookie! Would you come here again, Nookie Bear? No. Says whatever. Would you come here again? Yes. Yes, we would, but we said if we come again, now we've walked around the town and you've seen it. We'd come over this way and come by the river and the woods and stuff, wouldn't we? Yeah, loads of walking around here. Yeah, there is a lot of walking around here. No, well, we never knew, did we? And it was too busy. We've been in the motor home. Yep. Right, so we're going to go then. So we'll see you on the next one then. So what do you say, Uggs? Bye. See ya. Bye.